Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights This place is so darn cute and just feels like a little getaway countryside lodge because we are quite literally in the middle of nowhere. So we're in our last destination of our Europe tour, Croatia, but we are going to be going to a few different cities within Croatia. So this is the first one. I'm already completely taken aback. I mean, even behind me, this view is stunning. And we have huge expectations for Croatia and it hasn't disappointed yet, but we have so much to do in this place. Tomorrow is the main day, so I'll explain a little bit more of that then. But for now, we're just getting comfortable settling in and relaxing because it's like a little countryside getaway from the city. in this part of Croatia because apparently this place that we're going is one of the must-sees in the world and we actually didn't find out about this until a few days ago so this wasn't our plan but here we are to see this I want to say that we're not really that prepared but I feel like we're about to go into the wilderness on a massive hike I'm not completely sure what to expect but I think it's gonna be incredible <music> C here. So walking boat bus four to six hours. Let's do this. Well we already had the most stunning view just from starting but everything we just saw we're gonna be able to get like a close-up. We're gonna be going near the water fountain and everything so oh. that is what to come. <gasps> Look at the water color. Oh. Wow. Seriously, just want to jump in this water, but you cannot, you cannot touch it at all. Apparently there are different places in the city though, where they do have this same water, like it's connected by the river or something that you can go into. That would be really nice. because that was of course you don't know how far it went <laughs> and the fact that it said warning enter at your own risk pretty scary I don't want to be attacked by bats all right back on the course we go wow let's put some speed to it Here. 
would say we're about quarter of the way done right now, so it's time for the boat section of the trip. We are on the boat, we've got the front seat, so we should be able to see the best views of the entire boat. So after the boat, we have a little bit more of a trek and then we get the car or a tram back down, I'm not so sure. I keep saying wow to everything, but honestly, it is wow. Like every time you just turn the corner, every view is just incredible. <laughs> Every corner is just the prettiest view and when I film the water I feel like it looks like an aquarium just because the colors are so blue and vibrant. This really is magical. Thank God we had the bus back because I would not have wanted to walk three hours more. That came at the perfect time. Actually, I wonder how many steps we did. 13,000 steps. That's good. That was truly amazing though. Oh, look at his tail, he's so excited. <laughs> We've just had a very nice, well needed break this afternoon after all the walking and adventures this morning. I've been getting some editing done, so that's been good. So now we're kind of getting ready for dinner. There's nothing that we actually wanna have around here. It seems like they just sell like burgers, what else, pizzas, pasta, not really what we're wanting to try. So we're gonna go to the local supermarket and make our own little selection of random foods that we wanna try and just see what they have really to get some nice stuff for our dinner, a little homemade dinner. So can we just appreciate this view from right outside the supermarket? The sky is crazy. Wow. I want to give you an idea of the shopping here. So let me just, so this was all together in Croatian money, 203.74, which is roughly about 24 pounds, 38,000 Korean won. So very cheap, not as cheap as Czech, but very cheap, especially in comparison to Korea. Doesn't even compare. So we're cooking some pasta for tonight. We got the pasta with Istrian truffles. I believe that's what it's called. One of the articles I saw that said that is a must try here and truffles are good anyway. So we're gonna give that a go. And that's our little dinner for tonight. That's the pasta cooking right now that you can hear. For our last night here in Plivicek, Plivice. Plivice. I don't think that's how you say it. Yeah, that's anyway, time for dinner. That can't be how you say it. We're now in Split. This is not only our last destination in Croatia, but it's also our last destination in the whole of Europe because we're heading back to Korea after our last few days here. We just went to get some lunch. We've come for a vegan food. And now we're about to have a look around. It doesn't seem like there is too much here, except for this little area here, which is like the old town. So that's what we're gonna have a little look around.
shops and buildings have these really cute little like window shutters on which I think is cute and adds some character to the buildings but for the most part they're all green which we think it may be like a rule here to kind of keep some formality which I think is really nice it looks cute there are so many cruise ships like docked here which means a lot of people all here at once right now honestly I <laughs> I thought the British seagulls were big. These are massive. Our plan for today has changed so many times. Originally we were thinking of going to the Blue Cave which is as it's described and it's like the most famous spot to go to from Split. However the reviews were awful and even though it looks beautiful it seems like you spend only five minutes in there and it's over a hundred euros so pass. And then this morning we were going to head to the island Havar. Apparently some of you said it's even better than Split so we were going to get the ferry there, spend a couple of hours but yeah, we didn't wake up in time, so <laughs> missed that. And now we're heading to... Where are we heading to? Not in some park. Some park. It's meant to have a nice view of the entire city, so that's what we've ended up doing today. I'm only filming it from here. Jesus, that scared me. That was brief, but nice. It's actually a little foggy. I don't know, not clear today, but if it was clear, that would be really amazing. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna talk anymore. I'm so scared of stepping on a snake. What are you looking at? Why are you scaring me? We have a plan, we're going to Trogger. Also, I'm very aware that I have not pronounced a single name right since we have come to Europe, so I'm very sorry. But that's where we're gonna be heading to for the rest of the day. It's like an hour's drive away, so head there, see what there is to do there, really. imagine somewhere in an off-peak season to look like. It's the first place we've gone where it's just silent and it's really clean. We're liking it so far. You said better than Split, huh? No, I thought it was good. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. conclusion and I guess recommendation would be to stay in this town and instead do a day trip to split rather than staying there so kind of the opposite of what we're doing right now just because it kind of has everything here that it has in split just nicer quieter <laughs> cleaner basically so that would be our little recommendation anyway we really like it here Hi guys, just checking in because it is our last day in Europe today. We drove all the way up to Zagreb, which is where we are now. We stopped by Zadar on the way.
and then we had a quick look around Zagreb, but we didn't get out of the car. It didn't impress us that much, so we just had a look from the car. And now we are here in our final Airbnb, the airport. I think this is the worst decision we've made for the entire trip. <laughs> it's not so bad. <laughs> We've still got so many hours to go. Our flight's not super early, but it's still in the morning. So we are spending the night here. Fun. But that wraps up our entire Europe little trip. It's been a while. It feels like it's been forever since we've been back in Korea. But it's finally time to head back. So I hope you've enjoyed this little Europe series. It's definitely been something different. So thank you so much for watching. If you made it to this point, then let me know your favorite destination that we went to in Europe, whatever you liked the most. Hopefully we'll have a safe and smooth trip back and I'll see you in Korea.